Hi everyone, I'm back. It's Nancy Jacobs, the Basket Master, and we're still working on our berry basket. I have woven up the sides and have finished here. And I ended up putting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows of color because I just thought that's what looked nice. And it's my basket. I can do what I want, right? Same way you can do what you want with your basket. So I put nine rows of color and then I did three more rows of 3 8 inch flat weaving and that top row is going to be my rim row. The top row is going to be hidden by the rim. So today we're going to get ready to cut and tuck our spokes. I also want to show you one more thing here uh, just so you know if you're interested. Um, I wove up a total of four inches. That, that's the height of my basket minus the handle. So, so you know. All right. Uh, when cutting and tucking, remember we cut those spokes that go to the inside of the basket. So you see this one goes to the inside. The handle here is on the outside. So we're don't want to cut the handle anyway. Even if it ended up that your handle was on the inside, don't cut it. <laughs> Please don't cut it. <laughs> all right, so we'll go around and we're going to cut these that are all going to the inside of our basket. Remember, we cut them flush with our top row of weaving. And if you have any further questions about cutting and tucking, uh, video 9, you can go back and see some more examples of cutting and tucking if, if you need to. Alright, the ones that are on the outside, they get tucked inward. Don't bend in your handles. We do not want to crease those, so leave, leave those alone. And now we go along and we're going to tuck these six short ones. Oop, that's breaking. I need to get it wetter. It's, my basket's drying out. Let's cut that a little bit. Try to work quickly here. If you kind of roll it over your finger as you as you get ready to tuck it in, that can help to keep it from, from breaking. And remember, as I'll show you here on this next one, as you fold this in, kind of measure uh, so it goes into this row of weaving and that the end is hidden. That's you you don't want just just raw ends just sticking out even on the inside of your basket. It doesn't look very pretty. So you want to make sure those ends get hidden nicely. I just kind of measure it with my thumb and then cut it right where my thumb is has marked it. Alright. Now I want to show you what to do here. It's going to get me. I want to show you what to do here for these handles. And the handles, you can, we're going to tuck them down in our basket just as far as we can. This is a nice height. If it's a little short for you, don't tuck it in quite as far. Leave, leave it out a little bit longer. Um, if it's too tall for you, just, just cut the ends shorter. That's fine. So we're going to just tuck it right in to this handle where it's at. And if you need uh, your small flat blade screwdriver to help kind of create a space or one of your other basket weaving tools, go right ahead here. But I tucked it under every single row of weaving. And I have the end of this handle, it's hidden in there, you can't see it. The other thing I want to show you too, is just to make this a little more stable, 
I'm going to build what I call it, what's called a handle filler. This is just an extra piece of 5 8 inch flat reed. I'm going to just measure it over the top and cut it. It's going to just, just set here. It's going to give my handle an extra thickness and just a little extra strength. You could have used a D handle on this basket if you wanted to. Um, I'll show you in another basket how to do that. Uh, that certainly would have been fine um, to, to create our own handles and our own uh, handle fillers. It's just it's more economical to do that. All right, so now this piece, it comes over the top. These three pieces are nice and sandwiched together. And this piece now goes in under each row of weaving. There. And I've got it under as far as it will go. I've got my ends are hidden. And we are now ready uh, to finish the rim in our next basket. And then we're also going to do a decorative treatment with the handle. So it's, it's, uh, it's got a good shape. It's a nice size for, for picking strawberries or raspberries or I can pick cherries off my cherry tree. Anyway, um, it's looking good. I hope yours is looking good. See the night sides are nice and straight now too. All right, we'll see you in a week. Take care, bye-bye now. Oh, and visit my blog, www.basketmasterweavings.blogspot.com. Bye now.